talking today about resources. And resources are gonna fall on the same page as the producers and consumers. So we've already answered our before questions. You've already learned what a producer and consumer is. Remember, a producer is someone who makes a product or a service, and a consumer is someone who buys it. So seller and buyer. Well, in order to be a producer or consumer, you have to use resources. So find this in your economics packet and follow along with me. Pro producers need supplies, equipment, and materials to make their goods and provide their services. For example, a farmer needs land, water, seeds, and tractors to produce corn. A hairdresser needs scissors, clippers, blow dryers, and shampoo to provide you with a haircut. Notice corn is a good and a haircut is a service. The things that producers use to create goods and services are called resources. So the land, water, seeds, tractors, scissors, clippers, blow dryer, shampoo are all a resource. A resource is anything that is needed to produce goods and services. And there are three kinds of resources. The first kind of resource is called a natural resource, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Natural resources are things made by nature that people can use to create a product. So think of Mother Nature, the earth. Plants, wood, and water are all natural resources because they come from nature. Land for growing food, stone for building with, and even gold for making jewelry are also natural resources because they come from nature. So natural means nature. Another kind of resource is called a human resource. And again, it's exactly what it sounds like. Human resources are the people needed to produce goods and provide services. People, humans, teachers, dentists, waiters, and painters are all human resources. Human resources provide the labor to make goods and provide service. Labor is the physical and mental effort used to produce goods and services. It's kind of like your work. So human resources, again, involve humans. And then the last kind is kind of like everything else. It's called a capital resource. Capital resources are goods that are used to make other goods or to provide services. So basically, if it doesn't come from nature and it's not a human, it's a capital resource. Tools, buildings, and machines are all capital resources. Capital resources can be big things like bulldozers and computers and factories. Capital resources, though, can also be small things like pencils, buttons, and hammers. And remember, none of those things come from nature and they're not a human. Producers use all three kinds of resources when they produce a good or provide a service. The fruits, vegetables, and meats that restaurants buy to cook are natural resources, because again, come from the earth. The stoves, ovens, pots, spoons, and knives that they use to prepare the food are capital resources. The cooks, waiters, and dishwashers are human resources. So in a restaurant, there are three kinds of resources being used. Let's look at another example. Here's an example of some fishermen. Fish are a natural resource. They're found in rivers, lakes, and oceans. Different kinds of fish are used to produce many products, such as sushi and canned tuna. The scales of some fish are even used to make shimmery nail polish. 
So fish are a natural resource. These fishing boats in Juneau, Alaska are a capital resource. They also have nets, ropes, floats, and other gear on the boats that would be a capital resource used to catch the fish. These fishermen, I bet you can guess, who work on the boat are, yep, human resources. They operate the fishing gear, letting out and pulling in the nets and lines. They remove the fish from the nets and then wash ice and stow away the catch. So these are fishermen as human resources. So in this whole system of fishing, we have natural, capital, and human resources. I'll see you later to answer some questions.